Hey everyone, Kevin with Lazy Pond Farm here. Today I'm going to show everyone how to make their own chicken, or in my case, quail waterers. I'll be using these Renacoop DIY Chicken Waterer Kit. It comes with 10 chicken nipples and one install helper. These are the nipples that come with the plastic o-rings. I'm still going to be using Teflon tape in my install to help prevent leaking. I'm going to need some drill bits, tape measure, a sharpie, a drill, and the water containers. I'm using two gallon food grade buckets with lids. Renacoop includes their own installation instructions. You can pause here if you'd like to read them. Most important to note is where we're starting out here, drilling holes one inch from the bottom of the bucket using a 5 16 inch drill bit. I start out by marking the holes where I need to drill for the nipples. Going one inch from the bottom. So this water will sit at the back of the coop. This will be in the center, off to one side, off to the other side. Now I'm going to drill the holes using my 5 16 drill bit. It's important not to press too hard so you don't distort or crack the plastic. I've already drilled this one and get this one in. I have my three holes for my nipples. Even though it's not called for in the instructions, I'm adding Teflon tape to these threads just as a little extra assurance that the nipple doesn't leak. It's important to note that the Teflon tape shouldn't go over the end because you don't want to interfere in with this o-ring. Just want to do a wrap or two around the threads, keeping it down low so that it doesn't interfere with that o-ring. Go. And I just kind of work my fingers around it a few times to make sure it's seated good. Nothing interfering with the o-ring. Ready to install gonna hand start these and then I'll finish with the drill it takes a little bit of pressure to get them hand started Once they're all started, I'll run them in with the drill. I've got the torque set pretty light. I don't want it pulling through. I'm still gonna stop when it bottoms out. Once you finish running it down, you'll wanna put your bottle, your bottom water collection cup at the bottom. I put a product link in the description so that if you want the same 10 pack of nipples I got, you can check them out. The instructions say to depress the nipple to fill the cups with water. The nipples are colored red because naturally birds will peck at things that are red and that'll teach them that as they peck, the cup fills with water. And it's important that you remove all other sources of water from the coop so they learn that this is their source of water. That'll get them used to drinking out of this.
If y'all enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. This is Kevin with Lazy Pond Farm, signing off.